What's going on guys? Got a little different video for you today. But first, me and the kiddos are going to go let the chickens out. So let's go. You have a chicken on your hat? No. What do you have on your hat? Duck. A duck? Yeah. Looks like a baby chicken to me. What's the duck say? Girls, you want to check for eggs? Your muscles. There you go. Heck, how? Whoa, look, we got some eggs. But can you count them first? How many eggs are there? Nine eggs. Good job, dude. Alright. Be gentle. Kylie, gentle. Kylie, I think you might have cracked a few there, girl. You've got to put them in there gently. Kylie, <laughs> That's better. Yeah, we used to have nine. Let's go put the eggs in the house and then we're gonna go work on our project. Hey everyone, welcome to Novice. Uh, like I explained earlier, we have a little bit of a different video for you. Started out with a bit of a chicken vlog. We did salvage five eggs. Five out of nine, that's not too bad. Anyway, we are working on a tumbler turner for mom. So we have a tumbler turner that I'll picture right here that will do five cups at a time. And we already filmed a little bit, most of it actually, making this thing. And there were a few things that we need to tidy up. So we're going to take care of that today. But for now, we'll take you back in time and show you the entire build. And then we'll come back to everything that we're going to work on today. We'll see you in a minute. So basically, my wife has got into customizing cups and tumblers and things for friends and family. And now it's kind of expanding into a small business. And she just needs to scale up production a bit. So she has this here, it's a single uh, tumbler turner is what they call it. It basically rotates, if you have epoxy and stuff, it doesn't run and drip and these things run like 30 or 40 bucks and you can only do one cup with them. Uh, making the cups isn't what takes the most time but actually waiting for them to dry. What we're gonna do is try to help her be able to do more cups at a time and we're gonna make one that will do five cups. And I got this stuff on Amazon I'm going to link everything in the description and I'll put photos in the video so you can kind of follow along to what we're using and, and where we got it from. So we got this kit from Amazon. It has the synchronous electric motors. They are two and a half to three rotations per minute. You can hunt around and make this uh, a lot more difficult or you can just buy this kit and it comes with everything that you need. Um, it does have these individual plugs that all have individual switches. We're not going to be using those. We're just going to use one plug. And it comes with six of everything. We're only actually going to be doing five. You can do, I mean, people are doing like eight, nine, ten, twelve of these. It just depends on how big you want to make it. But anyway, this is what comes in the kit. And to avoid having, you know, six different cords coming off of this thing, I went and bought this off Amazon as well. This is a little switch panel. It's actually made for automotive purposes. I've seen people actually put these switches in individually on the tumbler turners that they're making, but this just seemed a lot easier. It's on a little panel. You can just cut a rectangle and uh, pop it right in place there. So that's what we're going to be trying to do here. And I kind of have a rough plan on how this is going to go down. Hopefully it works the way I think it will. Um, if not, we'll find a way to make it work. Not a big deal. We're just going to copy this and then multiply it as far as the spacing to uh, make sure she has enough room to do multiple cups and they won't get in the way, uh, especially the larger tumblers. This is a big thing that people screw up when they make these things, is they make these permanent on here. They glue them or they screw them in. And uh, when she's working on these cups, she needs to grab this and take this off and work on the cup, spray paint it, 
epoxy it, whatever, and she can't touch the cup to do that. So for her to be able to remove that and put it back on there securely, it's a, a huge factor. She's doing multiple different layers of epoxy, vinyl, paint, all kinds of stuff. So definitely keep that in mind. You're going to want to make these removable. All right, so here's where we're at. I decided to go with six inches for each section, for uh, each individual cup. And then I made this 16 inches wide, and it's gonna be 31 and a half inches long because uh, I need 30 inches for the space for each cup, but then I needed three quarters of an inch on each side because of the way I'm gonna build it. I'm going to put end caps on it and. Um, those are going to take up three quarters of an inch on each side. So the plan is, this is going to be the back piece. And we're going to drill holes in the back all along here to line up all of the motors. And I'm going to put those at four inches on center. And what we got going on here is the same deal. Uh, four inches high is going to be the center of the PVC pipe. And then we just measured that out to, you know, the six inch spacing. Um, because we're putting the end caps on here, um, it's going to take up three quarters of an inch. So it's actually three and a quarter. And then you just go six inches, six inches, six inches, six inches. And then you should end up, you know, three and a quarter from down here as well. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to drill three quarter inch holes here. And then I'm going to run it back through the table saw and cut it off at four inches right in the center of the holes. And what that's gonna do is leave me the uh, kind of half moon shape here like we have on this one. And this will just rest on there and hopefully spin freely and operate you know, just as smoothly as that one does. So looking at this, this is gonna be pretty close with the three quarter inch. And I'm gonna go with the seven eighths just so we know for sure that we got enough room for that to uh, spin freely. All right, so this is basically what we're going for here. The wires for the motors and everything will be kind of tucked in here and the motors will mount along the back and we'll drill holes for those that will line up perfectly with these holes. And we're starting to see what this thing's gonna look like. So what we'll do now is we will measure all of these and see where the motors are gonna go and drill those holes out. And for those, I'm gonna use the larger Forstner bits and I'm gonna use inch and a quarter because if you line that up, that's gonna be right there inside that hole. So you're not gonna be able to put that screw on. We're going to make it so we can actually put this entire thing right through here and we'll assemble it beforehand. Alright so here's my genius plan to line our holes up. I just placed the board with the grooves right over top of the uh, back plate that we're making and uh, we'll just trace it out and that should make sure everything lines up perfectly in theory. Alright so after I thought about it the uh, I thought I could just line up kind of based on the center of the holes but uh, I ended up measuring this out and marking the lines anyway like I did on the first one the only thing I did use this board for I just flipped it and used the back side of it to make my four inch line and then I went down the line and marked you know the uh, three and a quarter or sorry three and three quarters and then six inches off of that to uh, make sure I have a perfect center because I'm using the larger bit and uh, if I was drilling the same size holes this would work but I'm drilling a larger hole so I want to make sure everything's centered up. Alright so this is what we're working with here. You see 
That lines up quite nicely. I think this is going to work out real nice. All right, next I'm going to cut two uh, end caps for this. And they are going to be three and a half by four inches. Now what we're going to do is take some of this wood glue here and we're going to do a bead of glue all around the base of these boards and we'll do some along the edges here. Um, any of those contact points and then we'll hit it with the brad nailer just to kind of hold it in place until we can get some screws in it and we'll start getting this thing together. This glue will dry clear, so you can just clean up any excess. Not a big deal at all. Alright, so you remember that I told you you want these pipes to be removable? When you first get these, they are pretty snug and you almost think that they are not removable. Just find an open end wrench or a, an adjustable wrench, like a crescent wrench, and you just slide it on there and you can just tap on it. And then after that, you know, they're pretty easy on and off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a small hole next to each one of these. These are going to mount right here in the center. And I need to cut out a rectangle for those. And then everything can be wired up on the inside here. Alright, so it looks like from the outside of this switch, the outside of that switch is 5 and 3 quarter inches. I'm going to drill a hole on each side and it's going to be rounded so that will fit the switch and still leave enough wood for me to actually hit the screw holes here. All right, so camera cut out. I drilled both of these holes already and then I'll just take my Sawzall and run across. That should work perfectly. Now we're gonna drill our holes for our wires. here. We'll go ahead and hook these up to the motors. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these and then we'll start getting everything lined up and actually mount the motors. I think I'm going to skip ahead for you. We're going to use a little YouTube magic. All right, perfect. Now we got to put the switches in. Unless All right, well, it's getting late. Uh, I think it's like 20 degrees outside right now. So this is what we've got done so far. And we're going to come back out here tomorrow. And we're going to finish up the wiring and get everything mounted. And we should be good to go. So for you, it'll feel like a few seconds. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up, go in the house. And I will see you guys in a minute. And we're back just like that. So what we got here is uh, our switch panel. I pulled it back out because I realized that I'm going to have to um, wire this up and it's going to be a lot easier. So we got this wired up here and we got the power wire jumped all the way across and then we have one wire from each individual motor going to the accessories and then we have the other wire from each individual motor going to this power line here. So now we have a full circuit. The only thing is, you can see the switches are on, but none of these are moving. So if I turn the switches down, these start working. But they all work. They're all turning, doing what they're supposed to do. It's just the switches are backwards. So I'm going to be fixing that along with when I go in here to actually remove the tape. I'll take this out and I'll actually get 
some more of these clips. That would be the correct way to do this. I just put some electrical tape. But uh, I'll do these and then I'll switch everything. All in all, it's functional. So I'm going to get it together here and we're going to screw in the motors and get everything lined up so that we can get the PVC pipes on here. But I will give you a picture of the finished product at the end of the video so that you can kind of see where this ended up. Um, I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm going to leave the switches the way they are. Um, leave the electrical tape because I got to go back in there anyway. And uh, I just want to get this done for the video so you guys can actually see it function. And uh, we'll revisit it when it's all completed. This is what we ended up with. Um, if I did have to get one more piece of advice, I would say to drill the hole for the wires a little bit lower. The motors had to sit lower than I thought they would. And uh, these are a couple of the options. You can use a pool noodle. Um, they have these things here that I'll link in the description that you can buy in a four pack. Uh, this one came, it's like a rubber, it's almost like a dog toy. But that came with the original tumbler turner that my wife had. And then this one here is just a foam football. But uh, she likes these things. They are pretty flexible as far as what you can use them for. Um, as far as like different size cups. Alright, as you can see here, you got plenty of room to do even the larger 32 ounce tumblers. These foam things here. They uh, will fit the 32 ounce tumbler, but the same one has no problem fitting uh, a real skinny cup. I think it's like a 24 ounce, but it's a real narrow uh, tumbler there. And then this is kind of like a medium sized coffee tumbler. Once I get this kind of cleaned up a little, as far as the wiring and stuff goes, and get the right connectors, maybe some of the cups the wife's working on, and I'll get you a picture of the finished product. All right, welcome back. I hope that has been helpful for you so far. And uh, we are going to tidy things up here. And I apologize if the video is a little messy because we are actually just kind of making this thing up as we go along. We kind of have the idea in our head. So that's why we're making these little mistakes here and there so that you don't have to later. So here's what we have. We're going to be drilling these holes a little bit lower. And we're going to fix these so that the motors sit more flush and uh, not on top of the wires because we didn't drill the hole for the wires low enough. And then on the switches, we're going to flip the wiring around so the switches actually work the right direction. We bought the ends so we can actually put the correct terminals on here. And then we also got more of these foam things like this one here so that we'll have them for all five stations here. these 14 to 16 gauge female disconnects. These are the terminals we got to replace the electrical tape job we did on the back of those switches. I need to drill holes. Do you know anybody that knows how to drill holes? I do. You do? Yep. Perfect. Can you do it for me? Yep. Connor just did an awesome job drilling these holes. He put them about an inch below all the prior holes that we had there, so we made sure they're out of the way. But our camera cut off for some reason, and we don't have any footage of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. You did a good job, though. Thank you. You're fine. I don't know why I just died all the time. I don't know why either. Are you ready to go inside? Connor's cold. He's going to go inside and get some hot cocoa. And I'm going to finish up out here. So I'm going to take him inside and I'll be right back. So I figured out what the issue is. We are limited on storage space on my phone. and I need to clear some of that out. But for now, it's only letting me take videos in like five minute increments. So that's why it cut Connor off. We'll go ahead and finish this up. Shouldn't take us too much longer. All right, you know what? Let's save you guys some time. All right, got them all in. Now I'm gonna get the inside here wired up and we will get these switches hooked up correctly and we will 
clamp these terminal ends onto the wires from the motors. So with these connectors, they are a smaller gauge wire than the 14 to 16. But uh, I will link the correct connectors in the description below. But all I did to make these work is I cut the wire about twice as long as I needed it, folded it in half, and then put it in there so it kind of had a little more to grab onto. We're going to wire this back up. We are going to use the top pins as accessory and the center pin is power, reverse from how we had it before. All right, so I had that backwards. Actually, what we're gonna do is power is gonna go to the top pin and accessory is gonna go to the center pin. We should be in business here. Let's see if that's true. So I changed the switches around, or the wiring on the switches and the buttons are still working backwards. All right, well I tried these things every different way. Doesn't seem to make a difference. However, I did think I fried them when, if we go back, I'll show the video. I'll uh, put the clip in here. But what happened was, is I had these on and even the blue lights came on, which have, hasn't really happened since. I had this hooked up and I hooked the neutral wire up to the ground pin and I mean it's my fault I wired it wrong but I didn't think it worked anymore I thought I blew the switches up so honestly that may have done something to these and that's why they're working backwards. I am happy with it. It does what we need it to do. It's working. We got all the tumbler turners are turning. So I'm going to take this thing in the house and uh, set it up on our little craft table workbench. We'll put some cups on it and put it to use and I'll let you guys see it in action. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. This is what we ended up with. I'm pretty happy with it and the wife is too. She put the thing right to work. And uh, don't forget if you like this video and you want to help the channel out, it's as easy as hitting like and subscribe. We have plenty more on our channel or you can check out one of these two videos here.